welcome to our Lenten meditation. I just wanted to describe what I feel these Lenten meditations will look like with, um, with you at home instead of in the sanctuary with me and everybody else. My hope is that you'll listen to the meditation and the scriptures that I present and then sit for about 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes and just think about the scriptures. You can reread them. Just see what jumps out at you. You can look at the meditation questions, which should be listed just down below um, on the YouTube screen. Sit inside, sit outside, set a timer on your phone so that you don't have to worry about when you're going to stop. Just relax. Spend some time with God. If sitting quietly is not something that you're comfortable doing or you just get fidgety, feel free to journal or doodle or color um, to kind of help spark your creative meditation. Let us begin with prayer. Gracious Father, as we navigate this Lenten season, we are vividly reminded that Lent is a time to lean into our relationship with you. We are called to deepen our relationship with you, Lord. And in the midst of this pandemic, we ask for this reminder as we navigate the new realities of our daily lives. Show us how to use this time of physical distancing from one another as one of quiet contemplation and help us to know that we do not need to distance ourselves from you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. For our object this week, you're going to need a towel. Any sort of towel will do. Um, we're going to be reading the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. I'll give you a minute to pause me and restart me so you can go get a towel. Our scripture this week is John 13 verses 1 through 17. It's the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. I'll be using the message translation with a little, um, I'll be throwing some questions in between for your meditation this week. And when I read the scripture, I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine yourself in the scene. Imagine the characters moving. Imagine yourself in the scene. Because the Bible is meant to be lived out. It's a story. And we are part of that story. And close your eyes and imagine yourself as the scene unfolds. The story begins at the time just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world to go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end. It was supper time. Can you see Jesus and his disciples sitting at the table? Can you picture yourself sitting at the table with Jesus? Can you see Judas sitting at the table? Scripture tells us the devil by now had Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, firmly in his grip, all set for the betrayal. Jesus knew that the Father had put Jesus in complete charge of everything. He came from God and was on his way back to God. Jesus got up from the supper table. Jesus set aside his robe and tied a towel around himself. Can you picture Jesus as he reaches for a pitcher and a basin? He pours the water into the basin. 
he begins to wash the feet of his disciples. He then dries them with the towel that was tied around him. Can you picture Jesus as he is washing the feet of the disciples? Can you see him as he washes your feet? Can you hear the exchange between Jesus and Simon Peter, where Peter says, Master, you are going to wash my feet? And Jesus answered, you don't understand now what I am doing, but it will be clear enough to you later. Like so many of us, Peter persisted and said, you're not going to wash my feet ever. And Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you can't be a part of what I'm doing. And Peter responded enthusiastically, Master, not only my feet then, wash my hands and my head too. Jesus clarified for Peter and for us, saying, if you've had a bath in the morning, you only need your feet washed now, and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you understand, is holiness, not hygiene. So now you're clean, but not every one of you, for he knew who was betraying him. After he had finished washing their feet, Jesus took his robe and put it back on. As he put his robe on, he walked back to his place at the table. Now pay a close attention to this next part as Jesus issues us a challenge. Jesus said, do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master, and rightly so. That is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, washed your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I have laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. A servant is not ranked above his master. An employee doesn't give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What were you feeling and seeing as Jesus spoke and as he washed the disciples' feet? What did you think about the challenge that he offered to you as a disciple? Jesus wants us to wash the feet of others just as he did for us, but I don't think he wants us to physically wash people's feet. It is a metaphor as so many things are in our scriptures. Jesus was fully human, so he gets us. He understands us from the inside of our skin and knows from experience that we're capable of great things, great, incredible, godly things. No matter what we do, he keeps on inviting us to join in his work, which has become our own. Jesus knows we can do good things on earth, just like he did. In Lent, we're counting down 40 days until Easter. What can you do to be more like Jesus? And normally I would ask you, how could you be more like Jesus in your daily life at work? at home, at the grocery store, on the train. But this is a unique time in the history of the world. So I ask you, how can you be more like Jesus during a time of physical distancing and isolation? Whose feet is Jesus calling you to wash during this time of COVID-19? What does washing feet look like? during this time? How can you wash the feet of your neighbor or those who don't have a home to isolate in? How can you wash the feet of those who are part of the at-risk group? And how can you wash the feet of those who are on the front lines fighting and keeping us safe from COVID-19 and tending to our loved ones? Hold on to your towel and try to imagine what would Jesus do in times such as COVID-19 to wash the feet of those the most in need. May God bless each and every one of you this week.